once upon a time there was a cat named Puss in Boots. His legends known both far and wide, a cat of noble cat tributes. Tell you a tale of good and bad, the story of a princess and a pauper. Girl meets boy and falls in love, but evil tries to stop her. So join me now and I'll regale the tale of Puss in Boots. The tale of Puss in Boots. Ah, the tale of Puss in Boots. Hello. The name's Puss. Puss in boots. And welcome to my humble home. 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 I know this will come as a shock to you, but I am a talking cat. <laughs> yes, that's right, I can talk, not just sing. But please remain calm. <clears throat> Let me explain. <clears throat> Once upon a time, there lived a poor miller and his three sons, Zeke, Zack, and Gunther, his favorite son. Sadly, one day the miller died. He left to his eldest son the mill. And to his middle son, a donkey. Oh, boy. <laughs> and to his youngest son, the cat. The cat? <laughs> and so the journey began for Puss and Gunther, both kicked out and abandoned. Kicked out? Abandoned? Meow. My brothers will be able to eat by working together. But for me, I'll just have to fry you up and eat you as a cat burger. Would you like to be a cat burger? Meow! Hey! Oh, please try to remain calm, Gunther. Who said that? I did. Who did? I did. You did? Yes. You can talk! You talk too if you were turned into a cat burger and about to be eaten. Oh, I was just kidding about the cat burger. <laughs> You'd make a better hat. Oh, ha, 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 oh. <laughs> I've got nothing in the world except you. And no one else will do. I've got nothing in the world except you, so together we'll muddle through. There are very few cats like you that can talk to me the way you do. I guess it's true, I'm fond of you, but we'll eat a thing or two. Cause I've nothing in the world except you And some food and shelter would just do I've got nothing in the world except you So together we'll muddle through I wish I was a prince And try to convince The princess that she needs me to I could meet her cat. Now how about that? We could live in the castle too. But I've nothing in the world except you. 
and no one else will do. I've got nothing in the world except you, so together we'll muddle through. <laughs> for the princess! Ah. I've got nothing in the world except you and no one else will Now there's something you don't see every day. Shouldn't we run? Or something? Yes. Excellent idea. Oh, okay. You know that guy? No, I don't know him. I know of him. Hmm. Oh, that's great. You're chummy with a fire-breathing dragon. No, no. The ogre can change himself into any creature he chooses. And by the looks of it, I'd say he's fallen in love with the princess. <laughs> Come on. Wait. Wait! You're going the wrong way! I thought you wanted adventure. I hate adventure! <sighs> I'm gonna regret this. I've come to ask the princess for her hand in marriage. Well, dear, he does seem most adamant. What are your thoughts on the issue? Never! Well, then, off you go, then. Get along now. Shoo, shoo! <laughs> shoo, I said. Shoo! Shoo, shoo, shoo! Scab! Shoo, shoo! <laughs> oh. Stop! I'll marry you. Yes! Yeah. Hmm? Run, princess! OK, 
Okay, bye. You don't know who you're dealing with. <laughs> Why won't you marry me? Yeah, I love you so. Why won't you marry? Why won't you marry me, princess? Oh! I'm a wonderful guy. Give me a try. Tonight is the night. I won't bite. I'm Mr. Rahahite. Why won't you marry me? Yeah, I love you so. Why won't you marry? I'm not an animal. I'm not some creature that will eat you up. I'm not a monster. Oh, no. Why won't you marry me? I love you so. Why won't you marry? Why won't you marry me, princess? I'm not a pig, you know. I'm not some boring boar, no. I'm just a pussy cat with a lion's roar. Why won't you marry me? I love you so. Why won't you marry? I'm not a crocodile, but I've got a very winning smile. I'll never cheat on you. Why won't you marry me? I love you so. Why won't you marry? Gonna make me mad. Gonna make me very, very mad. Why won't you please marry me? Having fun yet? Ow! Gunther. The name's Puss. Hmm. Uh -oh. I think we've got company. Huh? Uh, oh! Ah! Yeah. <laughs> oh boy! <laughs> Hi, Zeke. Hi, Zach. <laughs> How do you do? <laughs> Pardon me. Way, boy. It's the princess I want, and the princess I shall have. Uh -huh. <laughs> Psst. Psst, psst. What? Oh, would you like to smell my flower? Why, thank you. Wow! <laughs> Boy, I will now eat you for my breakfast. Wouldn't he rather eat cornflakes? <laughs> oh, joy. Now he's gonna eat me. Now, do you see how it feels, wise guy? Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I said I was gonna eat you. All right? Guys, I hate to interrupt you, but, uh... <laughs> Got any more bright ideas? As a matter of fact, I do. Meow. <laughs> 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 
Meow. Meow. Meow, 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 meow. meow. You've done this before, haven't you? Gee, I hate to see him go. Not. I'm forever grateful. Hmm. How'd you like to come back to my pad for a scratch? Princess, I found you. Your father's worried sick. You saved my life, Gunther, and I can't thank you enough. But the ogre will return soon, and I must warn my father. Bye-bye. <laughs> She's beautiful. Yeah. I've got to get inside that castle. Hmm? What about me? You buy me some boots. What? Oh, I get it. When the going gets tough, the tough go shopping. <laughs> it's not really for the cat. What do you think, I'm crazy? <laughs> no, no, the boots are for my little sister. That's it, it's a surprise. And I just wanted my cat to try them on before I bought them. <sighs> Please spare me your pathetic fabrications. Hey, talking cat? <laughs> <laughs> I wish you wouldn't do that. These boots are perfect. No cat jokes, please. Huh? This cape and hat are the perfect accessories. How are we supposed to pay for all of this? The cobbler will be richly rewarded. Come, we must find a bag. Who's gonna pay the cobbler? Me? I haven't got a penny. And why do you need to dress up like that? And why do you need a bag? What, what's going on? Who's in charge? And where are we going? When can I see the princess again, huh? Huh? And they think we're crazy. Marsha? Joe! At last I found ya. <laughs> uh, that's it? No more, Mr. Nice Guy. The princess will be mine! <laughs> I'm getting too old for this. Yeah, ha, ha. Here, bunny, 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 bunny. Here, bunny, 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 bunny. Ah! Missed. Here, bunny, 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 bunny. Yeah! Mm. This is no way to catch bunnies. And I suppose you would use the power of persuasion. Precisely. This, I gotta see. Madame et Monsieur Bunnies. May I have your attention, please? Huh? I plan a command performance for His Majesty and the Princess. This'll never work. I invite you all to join me. Huh? Bunnies never miss a good show. Okay, okay, you're good. But I still don't see how a bag of bunnies is gonna get us into that castle. What are you gonna do? 
A little song and dance? Precisely. Oh, great. Why don't you tell them a few jokes first to warm them up? Excellent suggestion. Know any good ones? Yeah, right. Did you hear the one about the two dumb peasants? Oh, dear, oh, dear. If it hadn't been for that brave Millie sign, I don't know what would have happened to you. But the ogre will surely return. And if I don't marry him, he'll destroy the kingdom. All because of me. There, there, dear. I'll protect you from that big bad ogre. <gasps> Ogre knock on the front door. I guess you're right, dear. Silly me. <gasps> Whoa! Would somebody please answer the door? That's it. Nobody's home. I'm out of here. Patience, please. Try again. Why, you. Halt! Who goes there? Uh-oh. We're dead. Leave it to me, Gunther. Uh -huh. I'll meet you by the river. Go on, I'll be fine. <laughs> Did you hear the one about the two dumb peasants that went bear hunting? They saw a sign that said bear season, so they took off all their clothes. <laughs> <laughs> Bear season. <laughs> and now, Your Majesty and Princess, this evening I have a really special guest for you, direct from the Marquis of Carabas. I'd like to introduce to you a cat that needs no introduction. Oh, I love him. You'll love him. Ladies and gentlemen, let's put our hands together and give a warm welcome to Puss in Boots and the Burlesque Bunnies. Yeah! Marquis of Carabas, he's got a lot of class. The Marquis of Carabas that no one can surpass. Marquis of Carabas has got a go for lass. It's all made of brass and gorgeous stained glass. You being a lovely lass, you'll love the Carabas. He's a real gas, a real man at last. The Marquis of Carabas. Marquis of Carabas. Yes, the Marquis of Carabas. 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 Hey, you bunnies, hop it. Now the Marquis of Carabas in his cellar has amassed a pile of gold as high as this. His gold he's amassed is too much money, alas, but he'll give it to the last or a king with class. <laughs> what a groovy guest, this Marquis of Carabas. You really shouldn't pass on a chance to see Carabas. Marquis of Carabas. Marquis of Carabas. Marquis of Carabas. Marquis of Carabas. Oh, yes. Marquis of Carabas. The Marquis of Carabas! Meow! I have come for the princess. You will marry me tonight. <laughs> <laughs>
I expect you at my castle by sundown, my dear, or I will destroy your entire kingdom and eat every last man, woman, child, and cat! How rude! But to make sure that you don't betray me, I will take your cat with me now. Remember, by sundown. <laughs> For the sake of the kingdom, I know what I must do. Come, father, we mustn't be late. Don't worry about your cat, my dear. I'll buy you another. Hmm. A cat like that only comes along once in a lifetime. Hmm. That ogre is toast. What? The Marquis of Carabas? What are you, crazy? We could have eaten those rabbits or paid the cobbler or I don't know. <laughs> Please, calm yourself. Ah, what am I doing talking to a cat? My brothers already think I'm nuts. Your brothers will soon think you are the Marquis of Carabas. Me? I'm not the Marquis of Carabas. What if the Marquis of Carabas finds out? <laughs> It'll kill me. There is no Marquis of Carabas. I made it up. Oh. Oh, that's just great. A cat with an imagination. I'm dead. I'm dead. The king is going to find out that I'm not the Marquis of Carabas, and I'm dead. Ah. We haven't got much time, so if you will please take off all your clothes and jump in the river. Why? Is the Marquis of Carabas a nudist? Ah, please, do as I ask. The king is coming. The king? Ah! Mm. Stop. What is it, Coach Queen? Why have we stopped? Oh! It's a put in boots. Help, sire. The Marquis of Carabas is drowning. Oh, no. The poor Marquis of Carabas. Well, don't just sit there, coachman. Go save the poor Marquis of Carabas. Yes, your grace. Alas, while my master was bathing, robbers came and uh, took away all his clothes. Oh, the poor Marquis of Carabas. <clears throat> I present to you the Marquis of Carapaz. Uh, hi. Oh, Father, he's naked. Well, just don't stand there, Coachman. Go select one of my finest suits for the poor Marquis of Carapaz. Yes, Your Grace. <laughs> Father, hurry. The sun is now high, and I must marry the ogre by sundown, or he will surely destroy the kingdom. If I may, Your Grace, the Marquis invites you and the Princess to be his guest at the Palace of Carabas. <laughs> the Marquis will then happily slay the ogre for you. <laughs> the Marquis of Carabas! Thank you, thank you, thank <clears throat> you! I can hardly wait to see your palace. Palace? <laughs> palace? The Marquis would gladly take you to his palace, but alas, the robbers have made off with his coach and horses as well. <laughs> oh, you poor, poor thing. But this is not a problem. Would you ride with us and be our honored guest in the royal carriage? Yes. Uh, yes. Oh, goody, 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 oh, goody. Now, you take the left fork all the way to the end of the road, and there you'll find the palace of Carabas. But that's the way to the ogre's castle. 
Tsk, tsk, the very idea. Sir, you insult me. On guard, sir. <laughs> no, sir, that is the realm of the Marquis of Carabas. And if you say otherwise, you will incur the wrath of the Marquis himself. <gasps> Push some boots. Why don't you join us? Alas, Your Majesty, I must rush ahead and prepare the palace for your arrival. You're not leaving, are you? Coachman, Avanti! The Marquis of Carabas. <gasps> yes, I am. Gunther's my first name. Gunther Carabas. But don't you live in the windmill? No. I was just shopping for flour and grain. <laughs> so you will kill the ogre. What? The ogre took my cat and said that if I don't marry him by sundown, he'll destroy the kingdom. But put some boots there, we could stay in your palace and you would kill the ogre. <gasps> uh, I mean, sure, no problem. I'll just, uh, chop off his head with my magic sword. Why, at this very moment, Puss in Boots is at my palace preparing my armor for battle.
They really know how to break the ice. to the palace of... of... Uh, of... of... Uh, of... of... the Marquis of Carabas! Oh! The Marquis of Carabas! Thank you, Couchman. Fellows. Beer. Huh? The king is passing here this very day. The king. the king? And I'm sorry to say that if you do not tell his majesty that this land is the property of the Marquis of Carabas, <clears throat> you will all be cut up into a thousand pieces. <laughs> You're the little pussycat who got us into trouble! Ugh. Uh, Ugh. Will you excuse us for a moment? Take your time. Ugh. You idiot! Don't you realize he might be the ogre in disguise? <laughs> right then, you don't want to be turned into mincemeat now, do we? Well, do we? No, no! Okay, then let me do the talking. Okay. Jolly good. Now, repeat after me. This field belongs to the Marquis of Carabas. This, this field belongs to the Marquis, Marquis of Carabas. And again, this, this field, field belongs to the Marquis of Carabas. Again, this field belongs to the Marquis of Carabas. Again, this field belongs to the Marquis of Carabas. Are you quite sure this land doesn't belong to the monstrous ogre himself? <gasps> no, no, of course not. This land belongs to me.
We've just been having, uh, labor problems. <sighs> okay. To the Marquis of Carabas. This field belongs 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 to the Marquis of Carabas. I say, peasants. This field belongs to the Marquis of Carabas. Who does this field belong to? This, this field belongs to the Marquia. Ahem. Carabas. Oh, this field belongs to the Marquia. Carabas, Carabas. <laughs> Marquis of Carabas, Marquis of Carabas, Marquis. Uh. Gentlemen, I have one last favor to ask of you. <laughs> Are you sure Izio get in disguise? <clears throat> I always hated that cat. Did you miss me? Ah, oh, now don't you worry, my dear. I'm going to get you out of here in two shakes of a cat's tail. No! Uh oh. Can someone please tell me what time it is? <laughs> Almost sunset, and the princess is late. Aha! <gasps> uh -huh. 
Here comes my bride-to-be. I must make ready for my wedding to the princess. <laughs> you know, the princess doesn't want to marry you. What? I'm afraid the princess has fallen madly in love with the Marquis of Carabas. And who are you? I am Puss. Puss in Boots. And I serve my master, the Marquis of Carabas. Hmm. Well then, I'll just have to eat your Marquis of Carabas. <laughs> How dare you yawn at me? Aren't you afraid of me? Not really. My master, the Marquis of Carabas, is very strong too. Well then, perhaps this will impress you. <laughs> now can your master turn himself into a six-legged lion with horns? Sorry. My master turns himself into a six-legged lion three times before breakfast. What can't your Marquis do? Well, I've never seen him change into a mouse. Aha! That's easy. Watch this. <laughs> I bet your master can't do this. Now I will eat you. No, please, allow me. Uh -oh. <gasps> Excuse me. No, Christ! Yes? What is it now, Your Majesty? Can't you see I'm busy? Are you sure this isn't the ogre's castle? Huh? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Traitor! You betrayed your king! <laughs> Key of Carabas! Oh, beautiful castle you have here, my key. <sighs> How does that cat do it? Stop! <laughs> Welcome to my humble home. Ah. <laughs> The palace of the Marquis of Kara. <laughs> Excuse me. It must have been someone I ate. So you're the Marquis of Carabas. Uh, no. Actually, the cat made it all up. The cat? Oh. Yes, it's true. I'm just the Miller's son. Gunther! I wanted to tell you. Trisha, you purposely brought into the ogre's castle. No, father. This is the boy that saved my life at the mill. So. You're the boy and his little cat. <laughs> Could I have my boots back, please? <laughs> I take that as a no. Into the dungeon you go, 
and I'll eat you for my wedding feast. Wouldn't you rather have cake? I hate cake. Ugh. No! Oh no! Let me show you your new home. And on the right is where we play shuffleboard. I say, old boy, give me a lift up to that window. What's the point? We're gonna die. We're all gonna die. The princess thinks I'm an idiot, and we're all gonna die. Yep. Please, calm yourself. Yeah, you just don't get it, do you, puss? If the ogre doesn't eat us, the king will hang us for high treason. Well, I like that. After all I've done for you. Huh? After all you've done to me, you mean. <clears throat> you insolent pup. I was trying to improve our wealth and station in life. And this is the thanks I get. Why, you little pompous. Virgo! Oh. <clears throat> Dim witted. Arrogant. Illiterate. Ugly. Simpleton. Stupid. Idiot! Barbarian! Jerk! Bulgarian! You know, I don't like you anymore. Hmm. I'm sorry. I guess I really made a mess of things. You can f find another cat, if you want to. I'll understand. Hmm. I've got nothing in the world except you. And no one else will do. I've got nothing in the world except you. So together, together we'll muddle through. Very few cats like you that can talk to me the way you do. We're trapped in here, have no fear, because together we'll get out of here. I've got nothing in the world except you, and no one else will do. I've got nothing in the world except you. So together we'll muddle through. Love the view. But how are we gonna get out of here? I have a cunning plan. Ma chérie? <gasps> Ain't she something? Ma chérie, do you think you can fall for a cat like me? <sighs> she's falling! <gasps> I think she's fallen for me. Hurry up, Gunther. The sun has set. We wouldn't want to be late for the wedding, would we? Listen, lover boy. Oh, no! The wedding!
dear. Hi, Dad. <laughs> well, get on with it. Do you all go take this princess to be your wife? I do. Do you, princess, take this ogre to be your husband? To love, to hold, until death do you part? <gasps> I... 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 Sorry, old boy. You must surrender. Surrender to a cat? Ha! Huh. I think not. He sounds very adamant. Why don't we just go home? Because it's time to rock and roll. Yeah! I'm going to regret this. <laughs> yeah. Whoa. <laughs> Did you miss me? You're fat and you're ugly and you make me sick Cause you look like the back of a dog You smell and you're stinky and your clothes are stinky Cause you're slimy like a big green frog Your face is a joke and you look like a dog Cause your nose is ten foot long You've got horns and a tail and you're big as a whale But you look like a big fat hog I suppose it's too late to apologize Your mother was a cow and your father was a sow Yes, your father was a pig and I do mean pig <laughs> Does he? Neither do I. Stop. We're dead. We're dead. You're ugly in the nude because you eat too much food. Listen to me, dude. You got a bad attitude. If I had a dog as ugly as you, I'd teach him to walk backwards. Got to quit smoking. Mm. I now pronounce you mad and white. <laughs> Please try to remain calm. Bet you thought I'd forgotten you. Hey. <laughs> Coachman, Avanti! Please, 
remain calm. <laughs> yeah. Puss in boots, puss in boots. You can't refute that puss in boots. There's no dispute, it's puss in boots. He's the absolute puss in boots. Puss in boots, puss in boots. There's no substitute for puss in boots. He's the beaut at puss in boots. He's so cute in his pussy boots. Puss in boots, puss in boots. Oh, baby! ba do ba 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 do da ba ba do ba do ba do ba ba boom <laughs> Yeah, I'm really groovy. ba do ba da ba do de ba ba do ba de li do ba ska ba do ba do de ba boom ba da do ba da ba da ba Hey, you didn't know this ogre was so groovy. Yeah. Bing bang boom ba dee doo doo ba bing ba dee doo doo. I'm still gonna get that princess. Ha 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 ha. Ba da doo. Ba da doo. Ba da doo doo doo. Ba da ba da ba doo. 